guys, so today I have no makeup on which can only mean one thing and that is I'm filming a makeup tutorial for you guys. I'm really really excited to be filming this makeup look for you guys today because I absolutely love the look. As you can probably tell from the title I'm going to be doing Selena Gomez's makeup from the Come and Get It music video. When I watched that music video I literally just couldn't stop staring at her face, she looked so beautiful and her makeup was just flawless. So that's the look I'm going to try and recreate for you guys today. Her skin looked like she had a really good coverage foundation on but it was still very luminous so I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Makeup in the colour Gold and beige. Just putting a couple of pumps of this on the back of my hand. Then going to use my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush to blend it into my skin. I only got this foundation the other day but I've been seriously loving it. You guys asked me because I put a picture on Instagram to review it so what can I say? Um, it says that it lasts 16 hours. I don't think it lasts 16 hours on my skin. I love how glowy it is. I really like this colour because even though it's quite yellow on me, um, my body is actually a lot more yellow than my face. My face is quite pink so I need a yellowy foundation to kind of balance out the colour and make my head look like it's attached to the right body. Also I really love the finish, I love how smooth it feels on my skin. It doesn't feel too sticky or wet, which some kind of glowing foundations can do sometimes. Okay, next is the eyebrows. Selena Gomez's eyebrows are much kind of darker and fuller than mine, so I'm just going to use some powder eyeshadow and an angled brush. This is a MAC 266, just to kind of fill mine out a little bit. I always like to start with a lighter shadow colour and then add in the darker colour, because if I start with a dark, my brows will just look really drawn on and unnatural, and I want them to look as natural as possible. So... I'm going to start with Omega and then mix in some mystery as well. So I kind of flick up from the bottom and I find that's the way to make it look the most um, natural like hair on your brows rather than eyeshadow. Okay so now I have one eyebrow done that looks a lot more like Selena Gomez's eyebrow than this brow. You can really kind of see the difference. And I know that strong eyebrows aren't for everyone so if you don't feel confident in strong eyebrows you can just leave your eyebrows how they are and just do the rest of the makeup look. Oh, and I forgot to mention to you guys, I'm having a meetup, which I'm really, really excited about. I've talked about it a lot on my Twitter account, which is at Tanya Burr. So you can follow me on there or follow the hashtag, hash Tanya Burr London meetup. Also, I've done a blog post so that you can see all of the details kind of written out on there, like timings and location. Yeah, so many of you have tweeted me saying that you're coming. So I'm really, really excited to meet you guys. It's like, by the time I've uploaded this video, it will be only three days away. It's going to be on Wednesday the 29th in Covent Garden. Um, 4 till 6 p.m. I've never actually done a meetup just me before I've always done it with a group of other youtubers which is lovely but at the same time I find that I don't always get the chance to kind of talk to you guys a lot because it's so busy and there's so many youtubers there so I thought this would be really nice to say come and meet me in Covent Garden we can just stand and chat for like a couple of hours and if there's not too many of you then we could kind of go and grab a coffee together or something and I just thought it'd be really nice kind of catch up with some of my subscribers so please come if you live in London and you want to say hi. I just realised I did all of that talking with one eyebrow done and one eyebrow not done so it probably looked really weird so sorry guys. Okay now onto the exciting part of the eyeshadow. Selena had this gorgeous like gold shimmery eyeshadow going into black and all like winged out and so smoky and lovely so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with Woodwinked eyeshadow from MAC. This is one of my all-time favourite eyeshadows guys. I love it when a tutorial comes up and I'm like oh Woodwinked would be perfect for that look just because I love using it. So I've just popped some onto a flat shader brush. This is a MAC 239 and I'm just going to push it down onto my lid and taking a blending brush I'm just going to blend that Next I've got Rimmel Eyeshadow in Jet Black, which I bought from Boots the other day just because I thought it looked like a really good intense black eyeshadow. And I've popped that onto the other side of my MAC 239 brush. And this is going to go in the outer corner. And a little tip to get a nice winged out shape is to put your brush here, lining it up with your nose and the corner of your eye, and you want to follow this line here that your brush makes. So that's kind of where I'm popping on my eyeshadow. I always like to blend as I go so I'm taking my blending brush and blending that even though I'm going to be adding lots more. Okay so I'm just blending, blending, blending. I've added a little bit more black and you just kind of keep adding and blending until it looks something like that. It doesn't need to be really perfectly intense on the lid. Um, it's all kind of like blendy, blendy, smoky on the lid and then it's super intense on her lash line. So I'm going to use Maybelline Gel Eyeliner in black. And she has eyeliner going all the way around her eye. So 
and make sure you go right the way in here and bring it out as well now what I'm going to do is take my black eyeshadow again and just soften that line and make it really smoky so on my angled brush I just want to go over it so I got the intensity and the general shape of the gel liner but then I'm taking a black eyeshadow just to make it the line thicker and it just has a slightly softer effect to use a powder. I've also made the flicks longer using the eyeshadow as well. I'm going to use my Rimmel Scandalize Col Kajal Waterproof Eyeliner in black on my waterline. Oh my god guys, so much has just happened off camera. My camera just decided to totally break so I'm now using Jim's camera so sorry if the lighting suddenly looks different. Um, yeah, massive stress. Um, I think it cut out when I was just doing the waterline eyeliner so all I've done since then is put on mascara. Um, I'm just going to use on a MAC 266 brush. I hope you don't mind me not like taking off the whole look and then refilming it but I just thought it's just mascara that's not really a massive tutorial bit. But anyway I'm just taking the black eyeshadow again the Rimmel one on a MAC 266 brush. And this is just going to go underneath my eye. I just think it looks a lot better with the black eyeshadow underneath the eyes. It looks more kind of like finished. Oh, and for the mascara, I just used my Maybelline The Falsies mascara. Oh, and I also forgot to say that I did actually put on some concealer, but I'm going to put on some more anyway now, just to show you that bit. So this is MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW20. I did my concealer straight after the mascara, and that whole clip is the missing clip. So don't worry, you only miss mascara and concealer, which I'm showing you again now anyway you can never have enough oh yes you can that looks a bit bright now like i said selena gomez's skin was really luminous and beautiful in this music video but i'm still going to powder just through the center of my skin because i'm quite shiny and i don't think that shiny is a good look there's a difference between shiny and luminous i'm going to use my soap and glory powder this is called one heck of a blot which i really like Okay, so I haven't powdered too much. I've just powdered a little bit through the center of the skin. It's really nice to use a little powder brush when you don't want to add too much powder and you can kind of control exactly where you want it so that my skin looks still nice and kind of radiant elsewhere. Selena wasn't wearing any blush at all. I think because the eyes are so intense and the lips were as well, it would have just been way too much to have blush as well. But she did have on a little bit of bronzer, so I'm going to use my Maybelline Dream Terra Sun Bronzer because I love this one. I haven't used it for ages in a video. I'm just kind of going in circular motions just to bronze up my cheeks a little bit. Now personally I would probably leave this makeup look here, I'd probably just put on kind of a nude lip gloss and that would just be totally me, but because this is the Selena Gomez look I'm going to do exactly what she did which was wear a gorgeous bright red orangey lipstick. I don't know if I'd be brave enough to wear this lipstick with this eye makeup but I'll put it on and see what it looks like. You guys might be like, eh, it looks horrible. but. I'm recreating the Selena Gomez look guys so I have to do it. I was shopping for a lipstick for this look for ages. I actually met a subscriber when I was in Boots and Covent Garden shopping for this makeup look and I was looking for the perfect orangey red and I had like swatches everywhere and I was just like ah like getting in amongst the makeup and a subscriber was like oh hi watch your videos and um so hi if you're watching it was really nice to meet you and she must have thought I was crazy just being like swatch crazy in Boots but anyway I found this lipstick and it's from the Rouge edition from Bourjois. And literally guys I swatched so many lipsticks and I think this is like the exact colour she had on in the video. You know what, I actually quite like this lipstick with this eye makeup on me even though I didn't think I was going to. So let me know in the comments down below if you like it or if you'd be brave enough to wear this makeup look. So I think that's going to be it for today guys, thank you so much for watching. Please give the video a big thumbs up if you like the makeup look and if you like the video in general. I'm sorry about the technical glitch, I promise it won't happen again, I'm going to sort out my camera and sort my life out. To those of you who are coming to my London meetup on the 29th, I can't wait to meet you. I'm seriously so, so, so excited. Meeting you guys is literally one of my favourite things to do because you always make me really happy. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye! Hey everyone, so I'm back and today, blur. From her cum and... What is it called? I'm music video makeup tutorial. Whoa, that's a long sentence. Onto the eyeshadow. You can stop beeping out there anytime you like, Mr. Bin Man. I better run because I'm like mid-filming. Thanks, Paul.
Oops, thanks for letting me use your camera. Well, hurry up because my food, my, my, my tummy is empty and there's food in there. And if you don't get a move on, I have to eat you. No! Yeah. Looks quite bright, but. Do you think that's okay? And you can come down a bit. Shut up, Bobs! Hey everyone, so today I'm going to draw my life because you guys have been asking for this video a lot and I thought it would be really fun to do. So it all started when I was born on the 9th of June 1989.